Mazda's future. The Mazda Corporation is back with its new rotary engine and it's already setting the pace in the automotive industry. This latest and revolutionary engine is considered a game changer as it's thought to break all the existing records when it comes to good old rotary engines. So what's this new Mazda engine all about? What makes it truly special and different from the rest of the engines? How does it work and what are its special features? And to what extent is it going to be successful in the automotive world? If you're thinking about all of that, then this video is for you as we've got it all covered. So without any further ado, let's get straight into today's video. Mazda has finally put its money where its mouth is and delivered after years of boasting that the rotary engine isn't dead. The new Mazda MX-30 REV plug-in hybrid isn't a spiritual heir to the famous vehicles like the Mazda RX-7, but it does symbolize two key things for the brand, a long-range electric vehicle and the return of an engine technology that's intimately intertwined into its past. The Mazda MX-30, as we know, is an all-electric model that was intended from the start to support the optional installation of a range extender internal combustion engine and a generator with all of the essential components. Mazda's objective with the MX-30, as we understand it, is to satisfy basic transportation demands with a BEV and offer a range extender version for the individuals who require two or three times the range. So, what is a rotary engine and how does it work? The rotary engine is a daring notion in engine design as well as a surprisingly basic concept. A conventional internal combustion engine operates by containing the explosive power produced by igniting gasoline within each cylinder of the engine. This force causes the pistons to move up and down, generating the energy required to rotate the tires. The same technique is used in a rotary engine, but it is integrated into a single system. Instead of four, six or eight cylinders, the engine generates power from a single chamber. A triangle rotor spins in a circular loop, drawing fuel and air into the engine and compressing it to harness the propulsive power. Many of the most important components of a normal engine are condensed into a single synchronous system in a rotary engine. The first thing drivers notice about a car equipped with a rotary engine is the remarkable amount of power it produces in such a small package. This technology can generate massive quantities of horsepower for every litre of displacement. A recent test of the rotary engine in the Mazda RX-8 revealed an astounding 178 horsepower per litre. Another significant advantage of rotary engines is that they are likely to experience serious engine failure. Internal combustion engines with pistons contain much more moving parts, all of which are interdependent and essential for proper operation. Rotary engines, on the other hand, simply lose power when they encounter issues. That is, they will not abandon you on the side of the road. Now let's see, what lies under the skin of the Mazda MX-30 REV? The REV is powered by a brand new 830cc single rotor petrol engine. It's extremely small and light and it shares the engine space with a generator of a 125 kilowatt, 168 bhp electric motor that powers the automobile. With no mechanical linkage between the engine and the wheels, it functions solely as a generator, resulting in a series of hybrid systems similar to Nissan's e-power configuration. The REV, on the other hand, is designed as a plug-in hybrid with a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery pack capable of offering roughly 53 miles of pure electric range. A 1500 watt vehicle to load capability is also featured. When you start the engine, the MX-30 REV's 50 litre tank may add an additional 320 miles, increasing the overall range to 373 miles. Because of the modest battery capacity, a 20 to 80% charge takes only 25 minutes. However, the maximum change rate of 36 kilowatts is a little low. Mazda has more rotary engine expertise than anybody else, yet even its most recent model, the Mazda RX-8, which was terminated in 2012, suffered from the same dependability concerns and high operating costs as its predecessors. The brand expects that by removing control of the engine from the driver and using it simply as a generator, these difficulties would be avoided. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Now back to the video. The engine is an 830cc single rotor unit with a rotor radius of 120mm and a width of 76mm. It has a bigger capacity than a 13B engine used in the RX-8, but is smaller and substantially lighter thanks to the usage of aluminium for a large portion of the engine structure. 
Another good thing about it is the direct fuel injection that improves engine efficiency by reducing the tendency for the fuel or air combination to gather at the back of the combustion chamber and not fully combust. There is also an exhaust gas recirculation system which operates largely at low RPM to reduce cooling loss, a challenge in a rotary engine which has a larger surface area than an equivalent capacity piston engine. Rotor tip wear, which has been a problem in previous Wankels, should be reduced by the adoption of larger 2.5mm seals. The curving walls inside the housing have also been replated. At 4700 RPM, the engine produces 73 bhp. If we talk about the driving experience, then we'd say that's because the rotary never directly drives the wheels, the driving experience should be fairly comparable to that of the pure electric MX-30. Drivers can choose between normal, EV and charged driving modes, although the top speed is always 87 miles per hour. We're curious to see how the rotary generator affects refinement. The unusual engine tone will probably be muffled to the greatest extent possible. A 35.5 kilowatt hour battery powers the standard Mazda MX-30. The Mazda MX-30 REV has a 17.8 kilowatt hour battery, which is exactly half the size of the Tesla Model S. According to the firm, its technique of improving the vehicle's battery capacity is superior in terms of life cycle assessment. Cutting the battery in half also cuts the cost in half, compensating the addition of the rotary gasoline engine. The WLTP certified pure electric range is 85 kilometers. That's more generous than many plug-in hybrids, especially given that Mazda MX-30 is small size. The plan is for electric to be the primary power source during the week, with the rotary generator assisting for longer excursions. When combined with the battery, Mazda claims a range of more than 640 kilometers, thanks to a 50-liter fuel tank. And how much does the Mazda MX-30 REV cost? Surprisingly, Mazda has priced the REV as the same as the ordinary MX-30 EV. On the road, both start at £31,250. That begs the question of why someone would choose the EV with its approximate 100-mile real-world range over the flexibility of a petrol range extender for the same price. The REV's operating expenses will be interesting to discover because it's a plug-in hybrid. The WLTP value of 282 mpg isn't much assistance here, while the official CO2 figure of 21 grams per kilometer is. The range extender's 50-litre fuel tank and 320 miles of additional range average out to less than 30 mpg, which is less than spectacular. We'll have to say more on this after we've driven the MX-30 REV ourselves. Trim levels will generally resemble the MX-30 EV but include a unique Edition R car which commemorates the return of the rotary engine. Maroon Rouge Metallic is a new signature colour that looks like the sole red crystal after a bad night, but Mazda says it pays homage to the roof colour of its R360 coupe. Exclusive floor mats with orange tags and chrome-plated logos, as well as embroidered headrests are included with the Edition R vehicles. Does this mean that the engine will be a sales success for the company? Mazda sold approximately 10,000 MX-30 BEVs in Europe last year. Mazda Europe CEO Martin Ten Brink believes the MX-30 REV will easily outshell the BEV by a factor of 2 to 1. He notes that the pure electric variant occupies a niche place in the market owing to its limited range. The greatly improved usability of the plug-in hybrid version will have an immediate impact in sales. It doesn't even come cheap because Mazda will be able to reduce the size of the battery in half Adding the rotary engine does not result in greater on-road costs. In the UK, the core MX-30 and MX-30 REV variants cost the same. The upmarket Makoto costs $540 US extra in MX-30 REV form since it has a V2L converter which allows items up to 1500 watts to be powered by a conventional 3-pin connection. The CO2 emissions of the MX-30 REV 21 grams per kilometer according to the WLTP cycle mean it's taxed at 8% for corporate car benefit in kind in the UK compared to 2% for the EV and substantially less than the 31% rate for even the most basic gas-powered Mazda CX-30. As a result, the somewhat exotic-sounding rotary Mazda is more likely to attain widespread success. What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.